make the roux for the sauce. Okay, Scott, tell us what we're making today. Uh, pumpkin macaroni and cheese. Pumpkin so, macaroni and cheese. Fall inspired. Is this what we had the last time or was that? We but had butternut squash. Butternut squash. Okay, oof, it's not coming out. So we are really trying to have as many seasonal meals as we can, aren't we? We are. So I think this is good. We're not having macaroni and cheese out of a box. Well, not okay, there's it's wrong with that. <laughs> it's still from a box, but I mean we're we're cooking up our own. Yeah. So here we go. Got heavy cream. Oh wow. It's frozen. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> ranch seasoning and we just used heavy whipping cream. We're adding in delicious cheese. Cheese. All right, so Scott's in the kitchen and he's preparing the roux, the cheese sauce. Yes! Okay, I'm coming right now. I said I'd be right there in 30 seconds. Okay, well, I was gonna talk to you, but hold on just a sec. Macaroni? Macaroni! So, now I'm in the kitchen. Got my camera. Scott's draining the macaroni. And then he's going to put it in, in the casserole dish. But the fun part is when you add all of the cheese. Tell me I'm wrong. I know. It's a Sunday Monday at home. I don't have to do anything. So we're making our Sunday afternoon or early dinner. What, what would you call this? Late afternoon or early dinner? dinner. Early dinner. All right. Lunner. <laughs> yeah. It's a seasonal meal, people. It's pumpkin. Add pumpkin to anything. Just anything. You really like the crunch, don't you? Yep. I like the crusty crunch. Wow. Okay, so as I walk back over to the window where the natural light is, I was supposed to start filming early earlier this morning, and I would have. But then I started to feel like SHIT. I had this major headache. I'm gonna step you right on the, the window. I had this major headache and it was here and I still have it here and here. So then I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go anywhere today even though I really wanted to because it's the last weekend for everything before Halloween. So not only am I saving us money by not going out, but my body has decided to fight against me and I had a bloody nose for 45 minutes. It's quite gross. I'll, I'm going to add in photos in this part of the video, so cautionary. If you don't like blood, don't watch that part. Because I had to send a video to Scott telling him I have a bloody nose and it's not stopped. I've already been five minutes. No, no. This lasted 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Of course, as it drained, my whole headache went away, all my pain went away, but then as my nose dried up, 
all the pain returned. Weird, very weird. But I'm not gonna let that hold me down. I waited all day to eat. Nausea has passed. Now we're gonna have pumpkin macaroni and cheese with what's the meat source? Uh, Parmesan chicken. Parmesan chicken. He, he loves Parmesan chicken since I've met him. I'm not a big fan, but I will eat it just because it's food. Is it food? It's a, it's a type of nutrition, right? Substance, substance. substance. All right. Now we're going to go back to sitting in our places and we're currently watching the, the offering. The offer. Oh, the offer. It's the, how they made the Godfather and all the behind the scenes stuff. It, it's been very interesting. It um, keeps keeps your interest. I'll just say that. So, let's go. We have 35 minutes to wait for the food, so. trying to get ready all morning to finish this vlog that's supposed to go up today but my nose as you see has been bleeding all morning all morning I mean it is caution caution I'm gonna show you something okay it's not stop it's just not stop okay so I'm gonna set you um I'm gonna put you on top of the petroleum jelly. All right, so I'm gonna just, it's already afternoon and every time I move my nose bleeds. It's like not clotting how it's supposed to. And I'm, I'm getting very, very concerned about this now just because, so get ready with me. Just real quick here. So what we're gonna do is just slough those up. Oh, my hair is just all dry. Put a little line right there. Right there. Pump right there. Right here. Right there. Right there. And then what I do, not that you guys need to know, but real quick, just fill it in. that I can look a little more alive. Just a little more. It's just, whoops, I'll put down in the blood. Nude LA Colors. And I use that one in my eyebrows. So trick or treat. And I think I wanna do a time lapse now, just real quick. Isn't this just glamorous? There's obviously something wrong with my body. And my body is trying to tell me. But do I want to go back to the doctors? No. We just paid down a $160.95 bill. That was supposed to be $642 bill for when I went in for my legs in July. And of course, it was exactly one day li later after we paid that bill that this started happening yesterday. What am I supposed to do? Go in and be like, hey doc, my nose won't stop bleeding. Am I a hemophiliac? Do I have a problem? Is my, you know, what's going on? I know that the air in the house has been really, really dry and we don't have a, well, we have a dehumidifier, but we don't have a humidifier. I have a, a, a spa facial thing that I could put the moisture in the air. I just think that the lining in my nose is really thin because I'm older. Yeah, I'm older. And, uh, 
mom my makeup away. This is the best I'm gonna get today because it's all just gonna drip off my face anyways. And if I, yeah. Trust me, it's, it's coming out of this side too. Not fun. Um, I really need to run upstairs and I have to scrub my hands. Well, first I gotta clean up all this blood. Mm. Um, I'm supposed to be making the treat bags for Halloween. So let's get you that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to stick this tampon up my nose. And I did that this morning, and trust me, when it fills up, it hurt. It really does expand. TMI. Gross. Blood factor in this one is creepy.